Hi guys, Brick Genius 3 here, and today I have a LEGO review for you guys. This is the Doom Buggy trailer. It retails for $19.99, so $20. Item number is 60082. VIP points you get if you buy it in the LEGO store is 19. Ages 5 through 12 is recommended to, but really anyone could build it. And the piece number is 222. That's a weird number. So, we'll start off with the minifigs. I do reviews differently each time, but I like starting off with the minifig. So, the first minifig is this guy. He's, um, like the boyfriend. I feel like this set is story is like a couple going out to ride their doom buggy and you can't really see that's not focused there you could see it better like that it has um a blue jacket with pockets a red v-neck dark red v-neck some sand blue pants the um face is my face the um smirk with the stubbles comes with a new hat like the new type of hat and there is back printing so that's that minifig now this is the girlfriend this one has a wrench in its hand because you could really put it in any hand but but i think the box said to put it in her hand you get, I'll take it off so you could see. You get, um, a new torso. The other one for the guy was new when this came out, and so is this one. It's, sorry, her arms was in the way. It's a green jacket with a red and white tank top and a necklace. You get back printing on it, which is cool and reddish hair and dark blue pants so since this is dune buggy trailer we'll start with the dune buggy so this is um pretty cool build it really looks like a dune buggy because it angles it's on an angle and usually dune buggies are you can see from the bottom that it's on the angle. The tires on this side are more um, towards the bottom. And this one is more towards the top. So it's on the slanted angle. This set has quite a few stickers for a $20 set. I think it had like 8 stickers. Maybe a little bit less. So I really like when cars like this or vehicles have this I don't even know what it's called motor piece and I like this the use of the cylindrical cone pieces and I like the way they did that with the um the cheese slopes give you one last look at the car now we're gonna move towards the dune not the dune buggy we just saw the dune buggy the trailer this is a pretty neat trailer because they actually put like they just didn't throw plates down they actually put um tiles down some tiles which i think is cool so i think it's well detailed there's a lot of curved slopes which i like they have these that you could put up and put down if you put them down, hold on a minute, then the dune buggy could drive up like this. And, um, when you put them up, they, um, make it form that it can't slide off and it stays on. So it kind of, like, locks it in place. The dune, I mean, not the, I keep on saying dune buggy. The, um, wheels on the bottom are 
like small wheels. There's no sense of doing the big wheels. There's a license place on the back. And these are stickers right here. So, let me put this back. Or actually, I'll show you this first. This is the main car. The dune buggy goes on the trailer, so this is the car that pulls it. As some new building techniques. Well, not, um, techniques. It's just a different way to build a car, because... I think City stopped using the, um, the car bases, because in the few City sets I got that are vehicles that are newer, they have, um, brick build bases and not the, um, brick plate. So that's the bottom. And they, as you see, they have, um, bigger tires. It's kind of like a jeep, if you would say so. This could actually fit two minifigs. I will show you. Hold on. You put one in the front. And one in the back. Hold on, her arms are in the way. like that you have a little steering wheel in the middle you have this bar I don't know if jeeps have that I'm not really a car person but um I like this look here the use of wedges and the sticker it says dune ranger and they I don't know if it looks different to you but those um wheel rims like this I don't know what it's called look different I think they are different this is the front of it I don't really like the front but that's the, really the only thing I don't like and that's the back of it I will show you what it looks like all connected with the trailer hold on a minute That's what it looks like. See? That's that. And that's how it connects. And that. My opinion on this set is that it's a very good set. For 20 bucks. First reason why is because 200 pieces. 222. Most. I don't, I don't like buying the sets that are 20. That only have 100 pieces. Because I don't feel like I'm getting the stuff for my money like I'm not getting my money's worth of it but this is good because 222 pieces not that bad and you get two vehicles not a lot of $20 sets you get two vehicles in unless they're small so I like that a lot that you get two vehicles I think if you're um if you have a city, it's a get to have, it's a must have to um, have in your city because it's just a great set. This is probably my favorite um, city set in the vehicle wave. This is the only set I got in the vehicle wave, it's the only one I wanted. But um, I think the builds to everything are great. And I just like it a lot. And I'm not really crazy about um, vehicle sets. Because like I get them because to have vehicles in my city. Because I don't really like building vehicles. But um, if you have a city and you like vehicles. Or just if you have a city and you need to get more vehicles. Get this set. So that's my review for this set. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment. Bye.